Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and you will see me in repeat clothing. Why? This is the magical world of batch filming. What does that mean? It means I'm too lazy to get up and change my outfit to sit right back down and start filming. It means I'm doing a lot of videos all in the same day. But I think it's cute. I like this. I like the pattern. I feel real good about it. Okay. Now let's talk about some things. Let's talk about some things. If you want to read it, Okay, I got to talk about this stuff. That's how I pay my bills. If you want to read, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. I also have a blog over there. I also have a Substack blog where I tell you about the things I'm doing. Okay, you ready? Now, I am on occasion, kind of, sort of, taking live readings via Zoom. That's just really depending on availability. So you can always email me whenever you're seeing this at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see if there's availability, get pricing, all that good stuff. Now, I have a whole library of spiritual, educational, angelic videos, okay, over at Gumroad. And thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. If you want to be one of those supporters or get the courses or you forgot what I already said because you tuned out, it's all in the description box. That's all you need to remember, okay? <laughs> all right, let's get you some cards. So we're going to do a general here in the beginning. Make sure you listen to that first. That is the foundation of your messaging. And then I will break it down into three groups. You can choose to listen to all of them. Or if one draws you a little bit more, watch that first. If there's like a secondary one, watch that as well. Okay. What do you need to know? What do you need to know? What do you need to know? What are the angelic messages? Ooh. All right, so we have, I'm impressed, Soul Connection Crystal Lovers. All right, so this is what some y'all call twin flames. I mean, okay, you know I cringe at the term, but who am I, okay? It's not my business. And you can have definitely a divine counterpart, but the divine counterpart can come in and be kind of annoying. So let's just focus on lovers, okay? <laughs> Somebody comes in, enriches your life, you enrich their life, but there is a soul connection here. In all seriousness, this can be a really major lesson coming through. For example, if you're somebody who had your heart broken, you haven't been dating, you haven't, you're single, you haven't even entertained the idea of someone being a part of your life, this is going to come in and make you question everything, okay? Someone could be coming in who's like, just be careful, okay? We have a lot of toxicity going on in this world. We have a lot of people trying to manipulate one another. And that's why I have such a problem with the twin flame thing. More often than I've never seen a couple that claims to be twin flames that are healthy. You can get mad. I said what I said, okay? Comment down below if you got a problem with it, okay? Thank you. But anyway, this is good, okay? Let's <laughs> We have, or, you know, if we take that word lovers out of there, because the strongest part of that message, excuse me, okay, cards are flying at me, um, would be the soul connection. So this could be someone coming in who wants to help you in your business. Or um, if you're a creative, this is somebody who can handle the business end of things so that you can focus on being creative. It's a support, okay? But it's a support that comes with a lot of internal messages. No. Soul lessons. Yeah. That's what I meant. Okay, anyway, we have Emerald. <laughs> Compassion. Now, when Emerald comes out, this can be associated along with Amethyst, with Archangel Raphael. But the Compassion is opening your heart. Um, and Emerald can obviously be very prosperous. And I think of Emerald along with a lot of pink and, you know, even red stones as being, well, more pink. But um, being a part of love, okay? Being a love crystal as long uh, What? <laughs> I got this. A love crystal as well as a prosperity crystal. We're fine. Everything's going to be okay. Just hang in there with me. But that goes along well with that lover's card. So I don't even know. If you're already with somebody, and this could be you deepening that connection and doing some healing around the dynamic. Okay. Uh, the compassion. Let's talk about that. So this is uh, opening up and realize like if you've really held a lot of anger towards someone or you find that you're very judgmental because you walk around in defense mode because you don't trust you know all of that allow this to be the time where some of that starts you know falling away body stones balance this is a very archangel sandal fence so finding your balance and there's two there's two 
these cards I can't pick them up today and I'm not even wearing long nails what is happening so we have this duality going on here a partnership a support system but again it's something that's very very grounding so if you're somebody who still thinks that love true love is like the movies that's actually codependency yeah it's gross okay I mean you do you but I oh okay can I can I be the old lady here for a second I get on the good social medias, okay? And I see these young, especially women, young women, it, they're kind of with a jerk, okay? And the jerk is in the background being a jerk, and you can see it. Like, you're, you're grown. You can see it. You know what you're looking at, right? And these young women, they're so beautiful, and they're like, oh, you know, we're, we're twin flames, or we're soulmates, and, you know, oh, I don't know what I would do without him. I think this is for you as well, this message. And here's the old lady part of it where I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I've already been there, done that, and I knew it was a lie. Okay, that's that's the old lady part of it. I got into this place where I know that was a lie. Now, a real soul connection is someone you feel at home with. Um, there's no game playing. It is very grounded. You're not just creating a fantasy. Unless that's a weekend plan. I mean, you could do that. But, you know what I'm saying? But, like, on the daily, that's your best friend. That's somebody who cares about you. And I, I've said this to a couple of people now. If you are someone who dates men, and men have this uh, this stereotypical role of being a protector, your number one job is to protect someone's heart. And that means not lying to them. It means not betraying them, being unfaithful, being disloyal. I mean, you know, that, that should just be, <laughs> that should be a given. But not a lot of people understand that. So, yeah, we're getting this very deep message around partnership and what it is to have a partner. So, and maturing around love connections. All right, diopside, Mother Earth, again balancing grounding harmonizing this can also be sensuality as well um but make sure you're clearing up your heart and you're not coming from a space of anger or fantasy like you know what i'm saying like making it a fairy tale kind of thing okay let's see here Color card, color card, color card, color card. What do we have? What do we have? We have Violet. Okay, so think Archangel Zadkiel, Z-A-D-K-I-E-L, Violet Flame. This is the perfect time to do this because we've had so many transits, things here in the Northern Hemisphere, it's spring, you know, but this is a transitional time, all right? Whether you're in the Northern or Southern Hemisphere, it is a transitional time. And so this is a beautiful time uh, to practice this. So this says create a balanced life. It's 45, uh, reduces to 9. 9 is also a completion, but in the sense of a job well done. That you've come through a hard lesson, you've made it, and in order to create this balanced life, you can use the Violet Flame Meditation to kind of take away some of the fear, some of the pain, some of the things that have held you up from living the life that you want to. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. Let's get on to group one.
Hello, group one. Let's see what's going on for you. If you skipped the intro, you'll want to listen to that. Well, not the intro, but the general reading at the beginning. That's the foundation of this message. Of course, if you want a personal reading or check out my courses or support me on Patreon, all that information is in the description box. And of course, I thank you very, very much. If you're not interested in any of that stuff, liking, sharing, subscribing, hit the notification bell. All of that helps out a ton. All right, let's see what we have going on for you. What do you need to know? Oh, I almost dropped the cards. Okay, well, you know how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Fairy stone fertility. Okay, this is interesting because if I remember correctly, in the general, I was saying, you know, taking things and making it a fairy tale, not being grounded. That's part of what we're learning through that. And this says fertility. Now, if you are looking to have a baby, obviously check with the experts around that. Um, but this might need a grounded approach, okay? making sure you're ready, making sure you're taking your health into consideration. But if you're not looking to have a baby, this is getting real about your dreams. The energy around the fairy stone is such that, you know, there's wind outside, by the way. <laughs> um, in order to create, you know, they have this earthier kind of energy around them. So helping you take things from the idea stage and bring them into a manifested density consciousness stage. But yeah, this is a time where you can absolutely create what you want. I have to drive it home, though, in a very balanced way. Okay, then we have uh, chrysotile animals. All right, so we've got fairy stone. We have animals. <laughs> we're talking nature here. So we're talking about maybe healing the physical self, get with a doctor um, or a therapist. But this might also, it feels like, animal communication and it could even be like if you work with fairies you know like it, it has this I love this this <laughs> this makes me feel like I'm outdoors and you can feel the beautiful spirit you know around like the the nice spirit around it's good stuff but again I think some uh signs could be coming to you from like your your spirit animal you know, let's see what else, what else new my healer. I swear if you watched the one that I posted last week, this keeps coming up. So this is your healing way by doing it in a very earthy sort of shamanic way. Yeah. Amethyst meditation. So this is stopping everything, uh, allowing yourself to sort of regenerate. That's what it feels like. If you've ever heard, um, meditations where they tell you to be connected to the earth, and allow your energy to be transmuted. That's a lot of what's going on here. Your energy kind of, I don't know, it just feels very shamanic. So maybe some of you are reaching out to a practitioner who can help you with that. It's beautiful. Let's get the color card going here. Okay. Ooh, watermelon. Have fun with your inner child. The number is three coming from, you know, a deep wisdom that I, I, I'm tired of adulting. I just heard that. Like, I'm tired of adulting. I'm going to go back to the land of fairies and unicorns. And I just want to allow my inner child to take a break, right? Because maybe your inner child didn't have such a great start in life, right? You, you as a child um, and the inner child can kind of reflect that. But this is saying, hey... Ease up, relax. This could be taking a little trip away if that works for you, if you can do so safely. But to have fun with your inner child, this isn't just taking a trip away. This makes me think of adults going to Disneyland, which I've never been. So I totally want to go. <laughs> Who wants to go with me? <laughs> but yeah, it's that sort of thing. So it's not like I'm going to go off to uh, some big city and you know shop for luxury things. This is, no, I, wa I want to go to... A place I didn't get to go to as a kid. Um, I want to buy the silly ears or whatever. Or I want to go to an amusement park. It's recapturing that youth and that innocence. And giving yourself a chance to heal through that. Alright. So we're going to leave it there for you guys. We're going to move on to group two. Hello group two. Let's see what is going on for you guys. If you skip the intro. 
Uh, you want to know how to get a personal reading with me, what the offerings are, my courses, support me on Patreon. All of that stuff is in the description box below. The other way that you can support me and all of your favorite content creators is to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment. The more you interact with their content, the more others get a chance to see it and you are supporting those creators. So let's see what you have going on. Oh, 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 right now. <laughs> I don't know if this is my ADD kicking off, but I just, I swear it was very clear. I got this image of someone in a Trader Joe's parking lot. And it was like, haha, I made it in and out with, without drama. And it feels like strategy. But why Trader Joe's? If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, let me tell you about TJ, okay? The parking lots, wherever they are, they're like energy vortexes of confusion and chaos, okay? Like people almost hitting each other. <laughs> I don't know why it is the way it is. Or if you don't go first thing in the morning or like late in the evening, you're not going to get to shop. I mean, you have to like run through the aisles and you can't stop because there's, you know, more people behind you. It's chaos. Okay. But this weird thing that I just saw was like, I got in, I got out and I just narrowly escaped the drama. So what does that mean? I don't know. You tell me. What does that mean? Put it in the comments. What does that mean to you? You might need to let it play out a little bit. <laughs> that was pretty wild. All right. What do we have? Tanzanite clarity. All right. So you're, again, the strategy. You're looking at your life now and going, okay, I've done the airy fairy. Um, you know, I, I, I've done the spiritual growth through fascination and all of that. Now what do I do with it? So it's putting things that you have been, all your spiritual growth and everything you've been learning into practice, but in a way that makes sense, okay? It has to make sense. <laughs> so it's it has a nice feeling, but it's you sort of getting, I don't want to say this, I keep hearing strategy, but getting more analytical about things. And even if you say, I'm not one of those people, eh, you can't do that, right? Because... <laughs> You got to look at your bank statements. You got to make sure you're paying your taxes. You got to make sure these things are in order, right? So there's a big thing around that coming up. Baji stones balance very archangel sandalfin. So if you aren't familiar with sandalfin, uh, and by the way, this is very archangel Michael as well. Michael helps us with clarity. Uh, sandalfin is known as the archangel of music. He helps us balance our spiritual and physical selves he brings our prayers up to heaven helps us remain very grounded and he's the brother thought to be the brother of archangel metatron who is all about ascension sacred geometry lots of things metatron's cube <laughs> you know the tune-up he's he's the one who gives you an energetic tune-up metatron so the baji stones is balancing out with the people around you and in a grounded way but also balancing out your ideas so when we have clarity next to balance it's don't put the car in gear and just take off. Make sure you have a plan. Make sure you're going at the right speed. That is the thing. When we're making change in our life and we just want stuff to be different, we might speed ahead and that's not serving us. Okay. Kunzai self-love. Kunzai is an amazing crystal to work with. This says self-love. I think you're going to realize... I just heard working to your detriment. Some of you are working way too hard. And I understand that. Let me fill this out more because the self-love is not, it, it. I just heard non-acceptance, which kind of an interesting message, but it's sort of like not taking it anymore. I'm not accepting things. I'm not accepting um, energy vampires. Let me just put it that way. Okay. Then we have hematite grounding. Okay, so Baji Stones, that's part of grounding as well. And Hematite is very protective. I was just saying energy vampires, and then this pops up. So Hematite is helping you not only uh, put your big ideas into practice, but to protect you from haters so that you can get to where you need to go without people trying to make you feel guilty for your success or, you know, guilty for living in a way that is authentic to you. All right, checking my battery. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Ooh, 
We have moth, enjoy clear hearing, 43. It reduces to seven. That means archangels are watching out for you. Now, this can be a clear audience ability. I caused a little confusion by putting a video out saying, here's the new angel signs. And that's true. But in that video, if you haven't checked it out, go to my channel. It's called like um, uh, new angel signs. Hint, it's not 1111 or something like that. But I was talking about how we're going to start receiving angelic messages in a very different way where we take all the clairs and it's sort of all at once. So that's okay if you still have your messages through clairaudience or clairvoyance doesn't negate that or if you're still seeing numbers that's beautiful there's nothing wrong with that and energy uh numbers energy portals that is uh the energy behind the angel numbers right so that's all still in play i'm just saying there's another layer of how we're getting our messages cool tell your friends okay enjoy clear hearing so you're going to have a better understanding and we have clarity and then we have the word clear on the mauve color card so things are becoming obvious, okay? <laughs> things are right there in front of you for you to contend with. And it might uh, take some very hard decisions on your part to clear away what no longer serves you and to move forward. All right? So we're going to leave it there for you guys. We're going to go on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you before we get into it. If you would like a personal reading, you can see if there's a live reading available Gumroad courses on everything you could possibly imagine having to do with spirituality or you want to support me on patreon all that information is in the description box below if that's not what you want to do liking sharing commenting subscribing hitting the notification bell that helps out your favorite creators so whether it's my channel or someone else's make sure you're showing a little love okay if you want. I mean, you don't have to. You do whatever you feel is right. Okay, here we go. Okay. Stibnite conflict. You are conflicted. This, oh, this immediately feels like, I feel like I got to do something, but I don't know what. I'm supposed to be running because everybody else is, but where are we going? What happened? <laughs> right? So this could be interpreted. Like if you have some conflict with a person, a coworker, a friend, something like that. Yeah, that could, uh, be talking about that as well but that is a very secondary message to the first one right so more than anything it is your internal conflict so if you are having um a conflict with someone else look at why you're getting triggered by that person and especially if it's something that keeps going on and on and on look at why that might be look at what within you uh needs to be healed and that does not mean that the other person is right and you're wrong and you need to accept whatever they're saying. No, people come in and they trigger us. Like, I don't like being bossed around, okay? People would automatically laugh at that maybe and say, it's because you like to be the boss. Um, okay, I, I, I think I'm built to be a leader. Maybe I have that kind of tendency, but it's not that. That's why I don't like to be, that's not why I don't like to be bossed around. It's because I've spent the first half of my life being controlled and being, you know, going through several things that kind of messed with my mind and all of that. So, you know, if somebody wants to come kindly and be helpful and supportive, even if it is like, hey, have you considered this, that, and the other? If it's helpful, I accept it. If they're coming at me and saying, you need to do this because the way you do it is wrong, da, 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 yeah, that triggers me. But that shows that I have more healing to do so that I can get to a place of, whatever, <laughs> right? And be like, you don't know what you're talking about. Go back. Uh, so, you know, that's kind of what this Stib Knight is talking about. It's like looking to that level. Why is this bothering me? It's not easy to do. Yeah, Moonstone cycles. You're going through a very emotional cycle right now and you're going through a time where you're having to balance out your internal energies uh, and to, you know, full moon energy is about releasing, cleansing, clearing, looking at things that once were not illuminated and now it's right in your face. Okay. So, but it's to end the cycle so that you don't have to keep going through what you have historically gone through. Aquamarine. So here's our little cooling, calming moment. This is communication. So it's so interesting as maybe you are having some distortion within you that then is um, carrying outside of you, maybe to someone else that's triggering off of their pain the communication is what can bring calm to this situation. 
and having some compassion. You know, Moonstone is very intuitive. So intuitively knowing how to communicate, having that empathy and realizing like whoever you have conflict with first, it's you, but <laughs> if it's someone outside of you, you're probably more alike than different. And that's the thing that nobody wants to admit. I know when I've had conflict, like, you know, with somebody and they're going into this self-preservation, lashing out kind of thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're being so cruel. Like, how could you possibly? But if I were honest with myself and I stopped and looked at it, if I were in that same situation, I'd act exactly that way. It's reflecting back to me something I need to realize about me. Oh, this is lovely. So we have Amazonite Life Purpose. I love when Aquamarine and Amazonite come out because this is saying that there's absolutely no reason to have this conflict. And part of that conflict might be from external, like, um, not like another person, but just sort of what we're conditioned to believe about ourselves. So this is getting into a place of freedom and getting very in alignment with your life's path, but in a calm, soothing way after you get through the hard stuff <laughs> from the beginning, right? You have to go through that first. All right. It doesn't have to be impossible. It's what you're used to. You're well trained to handle the things that are coming your way. Okay. So fear not on that. All right. Let's get you a color card here. Oh, lovely. So we have rainbow, connect to spirit in nature. The number is one. Look at these cards. This is where you're headed to serenity, peace, harmony, you know, making amends if you have to, but it's like laying down the fight, but first laying down the fight with you. And once you do that, rainbows represent blessings. This water here represents emotions. And this is, this is a calm sea. It is a calm sea. And these are kind of like watery colors as well. So that calm, that emotional calm needs to come in, resolve it, get through it, do whatever you got to do to understand so that you can be in this calm and therefore allow beautiful blessings to come flowing your way. Because that's what's been getting in the way for you probably for a while. It might be years, but you deserve this. All right. So let the peace and the blessings come on in. We're going to leave it there for you guys. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.